today guys I'm going to show you how to create in PK Hex the old CMAP Mew. Now this is the only Mew that could actually legitimately be shiny and I'm going to run through how to create that right now for you. Okay so I'm going to assume you all know how to use PK Hex. If not I'll probably do another tutorial on that at some point. So if you open PK Hex and open up Cerebi like I have you'll find out the details of the Pokemon on Cerebi and it's good to use these to copy across. So first you, you need to do is go to species, type in the name Mew, click on Mew. Now it will come up in Japanese. Good thing because this is actually a Japanese Pokemon that was only available in a Japanese game. So what you need to do is come down to country, select Japan. There we go, so we've selected Japan. Now leave nickname if you don't want your Mew to have a nickname. I'm going to make this one level 100. Nature, I'm going to give it a sassy nature. Hold item, none for this one. Ability synchronized, because that's the only ability it can have. Language again, Japanese, country Japanese. Now this button here means whether it's going to be shiny or not. So we'll tick that and make it shiny. Now on to the met location. Now this is the most important because this determines whether it's going to be legal in the game or not. So we can get this one in Emerald, so we'll click Emerald. Now we'll always change this to Poker Transfer. So if you leave that as Poker Transfer, that'll be fine. You can choose the Pokeball that you caught the Pokemon in. I'm just going to leave this one as Pokeball. Now Met Level, this Mew was Met at level 30, so we'll put level 30. Another date. See the distribution ran to the 21st of August 2005. So that's what I'm going to put my date as. Now, Cerebi doesn't mention it, but this actually is a fateful encounter Pokemon, so you do need to tick that for it to be legal. On to the stats, I'm just going to give it 31 IVs all the way through. You can set the EVs to what you want as long as it doesn't go over the maximum allowed. Attacks, you need to copy what's on here, or you can give it your own moveset as long as it's a, it's a legal moveset. And then last one, metronome. Just leave those as is. And now onto the original trainer. Now for the trainer ID, you can use your own or just make one up. Secret ID, that doesn't matter, you can just leave that. Original trainer, now if you want this to look really legit, you can uh, give it a Japanese trainer name. Uh, I have no idea how to type Japanese, so normally I just go into Google and copy and paste some Japanese across. Otherwise you could just put your own name, I'm just going to put new as giveaways. Latest, not original trainer handlet, you don't need to fill that out, that can stay as is. So now if you go back to the main, it's got rid of the, the shininess, so just tick that again. That happens randomly sometimes, and I have no idea why. So let's just check we've done everything correctly. So yeah, the level's fine, the country net. The attacks and the original trainer. You can give this Pokemon all the ribbons you want if you like. Now this one didn't come with any, so you don't need to give any. Now all you need to do is go to File, Save As, and let me save it to my desktop, click All Files, save it as a Pokemon.ekx. And that's it, there you have it, that's your complete Faraway Island view that will go through all of the hack and the checks.